Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Pro Beginner Mixer. My name's Tim, and today we're going to be discussing compression. So compression is one of the most important tools in our mixing arsenal. Compression is basically an incredibly fast and automatic volume knob. Without compression, we'd have to sit at our volume fader, and when it got too loud, we'd have to very quickly turn it down. And when it got too quiet, we'd have to very quickly turn it up. It would be an absolute headache, which is why compression is such a useful tool. So let's jump into how a compressor functions and how to apply it to our vocal. To access our compressor, let's click this smart controls button. Now, I already have my compressor added, but to add it yourself, Click this audio effects slot, scroll down to dynamics, and select compressor. So let's discuss briefly what each of these settings are doing to your audio. The threshold is the point where when audio passes, the compressor begins to tame the vocal. So when the audio passes this threshold or this point, the ratio knob allows us to adjust how much we want the compressor to turn down or tame the vocal. After the audio passes the threshold, the attack allows us to adjust how fast or how slow we want the compressor to activate. And lastly, the gain. Now, because the compressor is turning down our vocal, the gain allows us to turn the vocal back up to our original volume. So I know, a lot of this sounds confusing, so let's just play around with the compressor and hear what it's actually doing to the audio. In order to hear the compressor, I'm going to overly compress it so you can hear what's actually happening in an exaggerated way. It sounds pretty unnatural, but if we add it subtly, it's going to really even out our vocal and bring it to the front. Now I'm gonna begin applying it to the actual vocal. So I'm gonna set it to a default setting and let's hear what it sounds like. So right now it's doing nothing because we haven't set our threshold or our ratio. We haven't told the compressor at what point we want it to activate, and once it's activated, how much we want it to compress. We need to give the compressor more direction. So now I'll hit play and begin adjusting the threshold. Okay, so we've set the threshold, but it's still not doing anything because we haven't told the compressor how much we want it to compress. So let's set the ratio now. Notice the gain reduction meter is now lighting up. We're now compressing our vocal. Next, let's adjust the attack, which again is how fast or slow we want the compressor to kick in after it reaches the threshold. That sounds good. Finally, let's adjust the gain. Again, the compressor is actually turning down the vocal in certain spots, so we need to turn it back up so it's at the volume we set prior to adding the compressor. Well, there you have it. That's how to compress a vocal in GarageBand. Let's do a before and after.
intuition can be confusing, and it's really only mastered with practice. So I encourage you to import your own sounds into GarageBand, add a compressor, and just play around with it. Really hear the nuances of what's happening. Once you begin understanding what compression is doing, you're well on your way to mixing your own tracks. But this video should get you off to a really great start. So thanks for joining me in this lesson on compression, and if this video helped you, feel free to like and subscribe, and tune in next week where we'll be discussing effects on vocals. Take care.